So you're sat there and your plaque ruptures. And when your plaque ruptures, you get a blood clot forming on it. And that causes an acute blockage, complete cessation of blood getting to that bit of muscle. And that muscle becomes ischemic, okay? It starts to die. Now you've got about an hour and a half to restore the blood flow to that bit of muscle or it will turn to scar. So if you don't get it going after 90 minutes, that will scar and you'll end up with a degree of heart failure. And the degree of heart failure you get depends on how much the muscle was affected. You might be very lucky and it was just a small, what we call a B road, you know, like, so just a small bit of muscle. But you might be very unlucky and it might be right at the top of your left coronary artery, which potentially is most of the heart. Now, if that happens, the muscle does not like becoming ischemic. And if it becomes ischemic, it can have an electrical abnormality, which brings me right back to my original analogy when we first started talking, which was the heart being like this room. So you've got the walls, you've got the doors, which are the valves, you've got the electrics. Now you haven't got any plumbing because you couldn't even make me a cup of tea at the beginning of this thing. But let's assume <laughs> we it could, it was plumbing, just a pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you have a problem with the plumbing, that's heart attack, that's angina. Uh, 